I knew Paul Bailey would be here. Oh, oh. Hey. hey, how are you? Good. Now we're among the nice show, man. Yeah. Hey, three claps for today. Three claps for today. Three claps for today. Full camp day two is done. Woo! Hey, great day. How many people are spinning? Because this sport is playing really fast right now. If your hand's not up in the air, you're lying. Okay? Because that is the purpose of the way we're practicing now is to practice fast, prepare fast. So come Friday night, come Monday nights, the game is going to slow down. But again, it comes down to what you want to know as a football player to get better. How many people were on huddle last night? Okay? Guess what? We can verify every minute you're on huddle. So if you want to tell us you're on, how many people went home and played Fortnite? Yeah. So let me verify with you. Remember, your huddle has to trump your Fortnite. Hey, you can check. Listen. Hey, keep listening. But again, on a serious note, it is hard to put you on the football field if you don't know what you're doing. So you have to prepare yourself mentally off the field with all the plays so when you get here all those repetitions become easy and again we're on day two so don't panic but again we have to keep repping them and anytime a coach is talking anytime we put it on the whiteboard anytime we walk through it make sure you are soaking it up all right um quickly a couple announcements before we go you're going to leave with a jersey tonight both home and away you are going to leave with game pants both home and away Make sure you're taking care of them. You, before you leave, you are going to report to Coach Molden what your number is and what your height and weight is. The height and weight that goes in the game program, and you're not elevating it <laughs> to be unrealistic. Because we all know you're... 220. Unless, six five. unless you're in that 140 <laughs> range, then we can elevate a little bit. Okay? But let Coach Molden know. Uh, pictures, listen here. Pictures are tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We are going to wear red tops. We are going to wear gray bottoms. Make sure your undershirt matches your uniform. There shouldn't be any lime green or orange or anything like that. And then we'll take our team picture first. And then Coach uh, or, uh, Kelly Juniors. Juniors will take your individual first. Then you guys will go to your impact. And he'll pass out those sheets here in a second. Okay. Um, if you notice behind me, we've got a couple guests tonight. Um, as you all know, the, the tradition of Shanley football lives very deep. And there are many, many different players that have built this program to be what it is today. And again, it's our job to live the legacy that these people behind us have helped build. And it, there's a wide array of different ages here because Shanley football has had success for many, many years. So I asked a bunch of people to come and just give a couple minutes about what Shanley football meant to them and then they're going to pass out their jersey to you and just to give thanks for again continuing on that tradition that legacy of Shanley football so again understand that Shanley football is not about the people sitting here on the shield Shanley football is built about all these people all the people before them and after them that come to our games that watch our games on Shanley TV that see everything about us on our website our newsletters so we're, we're playing for a lot more than just us aren't we and the more you can believe in that, the better off we're going to be. So let's give a warm welcome to our guests from Shally Football. Come a little closer, yeah? Okay. Uh, I just want to say uh, I'm proud of you guys. For can you do your name and your, just so we know? I can do my name. I'm yeah. Don Schott, uh, class of 78. I was uh, um, one of the um, captains of the 77 football team. Played my, my three varsity years uh, playing varsity football. We never lost a game at Shanley in the late 70s. I was fortunate enough to play for Sid Sitchi. I was a senior his last year of coaching. So we had some really great teams back then, three state championships. And uh, really, the thing that I carry with me on Shanley football is just that tradition of excellence. And it's something that we, the victories we had when we played, they don't leave you. You carry those victories on for life. And it's been over 40 years now, and I can tell you that the tradition of excellence not only stays here at Shanley, but it goes with you where you go. You bring that tradition of excellence with you. So, proud of you guys for working hard. Give it all you have for Shanley football. Hope you have a great season. I'll be cheering for you, and the best of luck. Thank you. I'm Don Goldbrook, Jim. I played in the 75 season my senior year. I played in two state championships, 74 and 75 state champions. 
Uh, very proud to play for Saint Cynthia as well. Our senior year, he was the National High School Coach of the Year. Um, like Don said, it is about excellence. It is about pride to carry that, put in the red and gray, the white uniforms that we played in. Um, you take it with you wherever you go. Unfortunately, I didn't go undefeated in four years of high school. We lost one game. <laughs> Our junior year, had beat us 22-20. But you know what? I carry that game with me every day. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks to you have your younger brother go undefeated, and you didn't. So, but no, you guys have a great program here. Look forward to watching you guys play. And good luck in your season. I'm Mark Sorensen, class of 86. I played varsity 84-85 seasons. Uh, I was a blocking dummy as a sophomore for the uh, 1983 state champs, the last class A state championship team. Um, you know, I grew up watching those guys uh, when I was a little kid and watching these undefeated seasons or very few lost seasons. Um, so Shanley football was really important to me as a kid growing up and it was they were just so dominant. It was just, elevated in, in our family. So it was a great honor to finally make it to school and I, I was talking to someone else earlier about how my class, so many of us were, uh, over 50% of us were the youngest in our class. And so a lot of us had family, cousins, brothers, etc. that had come before and played for Shanley. So we really were drawn to the tradition of the school and of the football team. And uh, that's something I, again, want you guys to take with you as well and uh, appreciate the, the tradition. You know haven't had perfect winning seasons every year, but we've always had a strong tradition of football here, and, uh, and it's a special place to play. So take that with you. Good luck to you guys. We'll be uh, working chains. Matt Fredericks, class of 88. I want a few of you guys just to scoot up a little bit. Something that we, as all these guys up here, never had a chance to do. And kneel on the shield in the middle of the field. Never had that. We practiced on a grass field, we played on a beat up turf at NDSU, every other team. You guys had such a privilege to be here. And this is, I can't even explain what you guys have. I mean, I, I have the privilege to play with, well, half the guys standing up here. We, by the way, we did beat St. Louis. <laughs> then, we played, then the next two games we played. The state champion of Minnesota, the state champion of North Dakota, and then we went on to to play in the semi semi or the semifinals. And, and I'm still friends with all of these guys up here, and almost all of my teammates. This is this is a family. This is a community. This shield is something you'll never forget. In fact, it's so damn important to me. I still come and hang out in the field every weekend. So so just take. Take this to heart. It's something you'll never forget. It's a cliche. When you're 50 years old, you're still going to remember every game you had on this field. Every game you came out here and chanted the score on this on this shield. Take it. Go with it. Love it. Relish it. Hi, my name's uh, Kelly Lancaster. I graduated in uh, class of 88. Uh, we never went undefeated. Um, anyway, Shanley football has been a big deal in my family. My uncle Lord uh, Kelly was a coach here. He coached with uh, Coach Sitchi. So a lot of those state championship banners that are in the gym, he had a lot to do with those. So it's really been a sense of pride for me for a long time. Then my cousin, uh, his son, was a member of one of the state championship teams in 81. And uh, then my turn came around, as Matt said, I was lucky enough to play in the semifinals, and that was very much due to our coaches uh, doing such a good job with us, because I promise you we overachieved. So that was good fortune for us. Um, then I had a cousin who was a quarterback here in the early 90s, and then just a few years ago, my son was quarterback here as well. So uh, Shanley football has really been a big deal <coughs> in general. And like these guys have talked about, you do carry it with you, but it's a, it's a sense of family. My, my father passed away when I was 24 years old. And I remember at the funeral and the prayer service, the first people I saw were Shanley classmates and teammates. Um, I played college baseball and I saw some of those guys there, but they aren't the ones that I went up to thank for being there. So it just tells you how much um, these people that you grow up with really mean to you. Um, so appreciate what you guys have. Uh, I think you guys have a great team. I'm looking forward to watching you guys this year. You know, for the seniors, just know it does end. 
every great thing comes to an end. Like one day, Cole Fredericks, you're going to sit down in that barber chair and you're going to say, Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, good luck. My name is Paul Bailey, uh, class of 89. I grew up watching many games. Uh, never remember them losing at all, the games that I've been to. Uh, being a third generation Shanley football player, my dad, my uncles, um, what the Rock played with Roger Maris, listening to those stories, listening to uh, you know, how they laughed and how they enjoyed all these memories. I uh, knew I was going to go to Shanley. I wanted to share in those memories too. My son Nick, he uh, he said, "Dad, we got the sweetest colors in the state. I love the uniform." And uh, just you guys, hold on to your. Randy Nelson uh, said, "Maybe you stay to the fullest. Tomorrow isn't guaranteed. Football's a lot that way where you don't know injuries happen. Play each game." Like it's your last play, play it to heart. And in the end, you guys are going to celebrate and you're going to have these memories for many, many years to come. It doesn't matter how many decades go by. I go to every home game. I haven't missed one yet. I love being in the stands. I love watching you guys play. I hope you have a great year. Good luck. McCormick, class of 93. I played with Jack Lenhardt's uncle as a tight end. I flew to Joe and I played against Henry Collins' father, Jeff. We could have beaten South Rim back then. Went to uh, play in the Down Under Bowl with Coach Huber. And when we were trading stickers, like a guy from Minot, oh, give me your shield and I'll give you my M. I'm like, I don't want to give, give away my shield. I want to keep my shield. I, I know what Freddie's talking about. But I was number 12 for my three years and I was number 24 when I was a freshman. I don't know what this says about me, but I still have dreams like, oh, we, we beat South at Dakota Field even though we did it. So, <laughs> uh, it, obviously it meant a lot to me. And uh, one of my best memories uh, was beating Red River to make the playoffs. And all I basically did, all the sophomores, I just turned around and handed it off to like Matt Rusted or Derek Halverson. But uh, Coach Rusted, him and I played one year. And uh, his teams were really good. And these guys' teams were really good. And my teams were kind of... We didn't do that well, but uh, I would have done anything to win uh, just a couple more games every year. And uh, I'm really proud of how you guys carry yourselves out there. And you had a fantastic year last year. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you didn't, because it was really impressive watching you every week. And uh, do your best, and uh, like everyone says, cherish it and your, and your buddies. And what an amazing coaching staff we have here now, and awesome facilities. And uh, really excited to. Uh, to watch the defense again this year. Proud of you, fellas. Keep it up. Um, Jeff Manuel graduated in 89, played in 88 and 87. As Freddie and Ty and Kelly and the group here played with many of them. Um, our seasons were pretty good. We got memories of certain games like beating St. Mary's, beating Moorhead. Um, had the opportunity to coach many of you guys when you're in fourth and fifth and sixth grade. So. This year is really special for a lot of us that have coached because the seniors class with Austin, uh, we've seen you guys play since you're playing flag football. And uh, every time that we get on this field, as Matt said, we didn't have this opportunity. We sat in a field that every other high school team played on. You guys have this field that's very special. And I think we even get goosebumps when we still come out here on this field. So take this year, enjoy it, but go out with a purpose. Go out with a, a sense of uh, confidence and you have a desire and a goal and your goal should be to win a state championship you guys have an opportunity as a 2a level to finish strong before the next class goes into 3a level and uh, people won't forget that so ensure that you give it everything you have when you're out on the field because as these guys have talked about you don't forget everything I mean we've been here for 30 years coming back to the same field coming back to the same Shanley auctions and we do it for a reason, because we believe in it. And I think you guys will too, but cherish it, because you'll remember it every year after. So good luck to you guys this year, and we'll be in the stands watching.
you guys up. I'm uh, Ty Devine. I graduated in 1989 from Shanley. Uh, as Jeff said, played with a lot of these guys. Um, it's been a privilege, you know, watching the senior class since flag football. You know, a lot of the freshmen here I've coached for years through FM Athletics or health coach. Um, really, the only thing I want to say is, you know, what it means to me. You know, some of my best friends are the ones that I went to school with and played football. I was lucky enough to go to NDSU on scholarship and play at NDSU our second year. We won the Division II National Championship. And I'll tell you, there's not a chance. I enjoyed Shanley football far more than I did playing college football. College football, full-time job, it was a job. And I didn't realize at the time how much it meant to me playing football in high school with your friends, playing to have fun, playing for each other. You know, it's different. It's, uh, you know, I enjoyed college football, but there was nothing like high school football. It meant so much more to me than uh, even playing in NDSU. So good luck this year. I'll be at every game watching you guys and looking forward to it. And what I really like about it is all the generational stuff. You talk about uncles and many of these people have sons playing right now and grandpas have played and brothers have played and just that generational stuff that is going to go on for many years because hopefully your kids will come back and be part of our program as well. But again, like they said, we've kept you here long enough. Here's our plan. Uh, Kelly's got a bunch of paperwork. He's going to pass out quickly. Shanley football has been pretty significant in my life. Uh, my uncle Orb Kelly was a coach here in the 60s and 70s with Coach Sitchie. So a lot of those state championship banners that hang in the uh, gym, he had a lot to do with. His, his son, my cousin, uh, played on the 81 state championship, lost the 82 state championship. I played in the mid, uh, mid to late 80s. Uh, fall of 87 was my last year. We made the state semifinals and that was a great accomplishment for our team because we definitely were underdogs and thanks to the coaching staff that year they really pushed us and helped us elevate to that level. Then my son playing here um, as a quarterback, I also had a cousin that was a quarterback here in the early 90s, but uh, as a parent watching my son was much better than even me playing. Um, so Shanley football has been very significant in my life um, and what it really did was teach me um, hard work um, and also that you're going to have some of your best friends in life. One of my best friends is Matt Fredericks and uh, I was fortunate enough to play football with him. He's one of those guys who has your back and uh, you know unfortunately uh, Shanley football will end for you just like everything right. There's, uh, there's a last time for everything like for instance Matt's son Cole there's going to be a last time when he goes to that uh, barber chair and says keep it long in the back. Thank you. Good luck guys. You know, for me, it's just uh, proud of uh, being a deacon. Uh, once a deacon, always a deacon. And wearing that red and white and uh, hanging on to that tradition of excellence never goes away. And just being part of that is uh, something to, to be here for. Uh, Shanley's been a big part of my life. In fact, uh, I've been doing the change for Shanley football for the last 20 years on the sidelines. So I always come home and watch Shanley football. Uh, it's something to, to really get it. Watch the kids grow and uh, play hard and really carry on the tradition of Shanley <laughs> excellence in football. So, you know, I grew up, or came of age, I guess, as a little kid born in 68, so I was born in the middle of the infamous big long streak of wins they had. I certainly didn't know about it at the time, but so throughout the 70s, they won practically every game they played, and Shanley football in my little kid mind was up there with Notre Dame and in my family anyway, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, you know, and I didn't know the difference between all these teams. But, you know, so growing up and finally getting into grade school, you know, Sid Sitchi retired, I believe, when I was in fourth grade. Um, but we were still winning championships. And so it was just a major part of our life, you know, they were, they were a big deal. And uh, it was neat to know that I was going to be going to that school. And so when we finally got there, you know, our class, my class in particular, uh, over half of us were youngest in our families. So we all had this kind of connection to the older traditions of the school, and, and football was certainly a major part of that. So it was, it was a big deal to be part of Shanley football. Um, I was a blocking dummy, I like to say, my sophomore year for the, the last Class A state championship team. But it was still, again, a great honor to be part of that and help those guys achieve their goals and, and be part of it indirectly. Uh, we went on my junior and senior year not to do great things, but, you know, uh, 
made the, the quarterfinals uh, my senior year. But again, it was just part of being a, part of the Shanley family, and, and football is such a big part of that. And just a, an honor to be part of the tradition, I guess. Uh, we made it to the semis when I was a junior, and then when I was a senior, we were like 500. So our, our important games when I was a senior, we beat Moorhead and we beat St. Mary's. Both were defending champs, you know, in the years past. My son's playing. Um, I love sports. I've always loved sports. I've always liked Shanley. Um, you know, do the these guys back here like Matt Fredericks, um, Kelly, and Paul Bailey, and guys like that that you see in the hallways because they got kids here as well. That's what makes us come back, and we believe in the coaches that are here. So. Um, we're pretty supportive. Well, from the, the first snap I took on the varsity when, against St. Mary's when I was a sophomore to the last one in double overtime against North, I didn't care about the, many more things than, than Shanley football. And, and I was out there to succeed and do my best for whether it was the Knights of Columbus and the Presentation Sisters in the stands and the whole community. Uh, I really felt an obligation to do my best for the Deacons because I grew up, my father taking me to watch some really outstanding Shanley uh, State Championship caliber teams. And uh, that's really my goal, and I'll never forget the, the rush, the adrenaline to be going on a Dakota field for the first time and, and taking snaps in a, in a live ball game. Usually we don't have the numbers that the, the larger public schools had. The Deacon spirit was finding a way to to uh, to fight for the the extra yardage, have have a little bit more heart. Uh, try to find ways when uh, your freshman team has 13 or 14 guys to to match up against Fargo South when they have uh, 75 players and you can only practice half line of scrimmage at a time. Just, uh, it's definitely an underdog mentality when the other team sees you warming up. Even on the varsity back then, we had less than 40 players when they see you warming up across the field and uh, they kind of get overconfident and you know you have to uh, meet your potential or you won't have a chance. And uh, the Deacon spirit would just be trying to live up to uh, to Sid Sitchie's legacy. Tom Elder was the coach when I was there and he was a former Shanley player and he installed the uh, virtues of, of Deacon excellence. And uh, I uh, have a lot of fond memories playing with my, my Deacon brothers that were, whether they're two years older than me or two years younger than me. It's meant a lot to me. You know, some of my best years were in high school. You know, I went on to play football at North Dakota State and it became a job and I thoroughly enjoyed playing high school football. It was just fun being with your friends. I've loved having my three boys come through the network. But you know, just teamwork and some of my best friends today are the friends I went to high school with and some of them I played football with. And it's just been great to have, uh, you know, live two blocks from here and have my kids go through the same school I went through. And uh, it just means a lot to me and I've loved watching them through all the sports, all the years. And now it's getting more exciting because they're uh, uh, in the high school. And I just can't wait to watch the next six years with my two younger boys. The one word to me that describes Shanley Deacon football has to be tradition. You know, just the tradition of the teams over the years. When we moved here in 1981, my dad told me I'd like you to play football for Shanley High School someday just because of their tradition, the coaches, all the teams they've had over the years. And uh, you know, I wanted to be a part of that. And I'm glad that uh, a lot of my good friends uh, wanted to play and had a lot of fun playing those three years for Shanley football.